Hello and welcome to Fix the Space Time. In today's video we have an interview with the Inspiration4 crew as they travel to the airport. I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did, make sure to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Um, hello everyone, thank you so much um, for coming on for another interview on, um, on my channel. It's two days until we launch and um, I have lots of questions but, um, lots of questions, but um, not much time. So we'll, um, um, we'll get straight into it. What was everyone's favourite part of the training? What's our favourite part? Hale, what do you think? I, I just loved all the time the four of us were in the simulator together and, um, and just getting to experience what it was going to be like to go to space and be up there and any challenges that came our way, we crushed it and it just instilled a lot of confidence in our crew. Okay. I mean, it, it sounds like you, um, you've been doing lots over um, the last few um, months with training. Um, Chris, was there any part of the training that surprised you? Um, good gracious. I think, I think this, the, the length and duration and the intensity of all the training that we did, uh, just because we are not professional astronauts doesn't mean we don't get any, you know, we're not taking any shortcuts. So everything that we've been doing has been rigorous, it's been challenging, and it's been thorough. So it's been a lot of fun. Um, but I think just that intensity, yeah, it's been, it's been a lot. And we've been pretty great going through all of it. Wow. Okay. Um, Sean, um, how was it, um, how does it feel to be a pioneer of um, diversity and inclusive, inclusivity in space travel? Oh, it's uh, fantastic, you know, uh, to have that opportunity to be a role model and uh, inspire the next generation is a dream come true, uh, especially on this kind of global scale where, you know, as a kid, I wanted to be a pilot and there wasn't uh, any role models for me to really think about and to look forward uh, to aspire to be. And so being able to be in this position is really an honor and I'm, I'm grateful for the, this opportunity to represent. Yeah, you really are a, um, a brilliant role model to um, lots of people nowadays. Um, Thank you. Haley, um, what is the most exciting thing you've planned for when you get back from space? I'll be excited to get back to my job and go back to working with the kids at St. Jude. Um, so I think that's the most exciting thing I have planned now. All right, okay, wow. Um, Jared, you've flown planes, jets, and um, now um, you're going to space. What's the next, um, what's your next goal? Oh, we, we got to get through this one. I mean, we've got a lot of goals that we still need to hit. Um, we still have this, you know, huge fundraising effort for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. So uh, the whole crew of Inspiration4 will be supporting that right up to launch and even after we get back. So that's really important. And this mission in itself has so many objectives we still need to, to get through right now in order to make sure there's a lot of more exciting missions to follow. So I guess one mission at a time. Yeah. Um, does anyone have any fears about flying um, on Wednesday? I think we saw a mosquito fly in. That's my only fear for taking a little stowaway with us. But other than that, we're all set to go. I agree. Mosquitoes love me. So uh, taking a few of them aboard is not uh, on my to-do list. <laughs> okay. Um, Jared, are there any rules about what you can eat before launch? Is that what, what, what kind of rules are there? Are there any rules I about that? No, there's none. I mean, it's just really individual preference. So uh, actually over the last couple of days, a lot of people have been asking us like, what do we want to eat um, for that, uh, that meal prior to launch? And it, it's kind of like, you know, every option is, a, is available. So I, I don't know if we've actually had time to stop and think. I think, uh, I think Nova's already nailed that she wants a, uh, a glazed donut. I get that right? Yes. <laughs> okay, but that's the only thing we've got worked out so far. All right, okay. Um, Chris, what was the um, what was the best thing you did um, during your full dress rehearsal of launch day? Oh, I think just, oh, I know what it was. So uh, when we get dressed up in the suit room, putting on our flight, our space suits, uh, we got to put our Inspiration4 sticker on uh, one of the pressure check chairs. So putting our mark and putting our sticker and our logo to be prominently and permanently displayed here in, uh, in Florida at the Space Center, that was a cool moment. All right, okay. Um, I've all been um, following along with your um, journey on your Netflix show, um, Countdown, Inspiration for Mission to Space. 
Um, Hayley, what was your favourite part of filming Inspiration Falls Netflix show? So we became really close with the crew behind the scenes, the Netflix and Time crew that were, they've been with us on this journey this whole year. And so um, that, that was the most fun part, I think, which is we have like, we have our crew and then we have our extended crew. All right, okay. Um, Shana, how, how do you think this mission will influence your art and poetry when you come back home? Oh, I'm hoping that, you know, I, while I'm up there, I'll get inspired. I'll be doing some art and uh, poetry, but really being able to come back and reflect on how this entire mission has unfolded, leading and then the experience of being on orbit. I am hoping that I can come up with words and images that really inspire the next generation and uh, can just get people continuously excited for years, maybe even decades to come um, with what we lay down here now. Right, okay. Um, that's all 10 questions I've got for you. Um, I know you're all very busy, um, but I'll be uploading a special video to my channel um, tomorrow for you guys, and it would be great if you could watch that. Sure, keep um, that. Um, Sounds good to you. Um, thank you all. Um, thank you so much to all of you. Um, without you, my channel wouldn't actually be here and I'd never have started. Um, so thank you and good luck on Wednesday. Thanks for everything. Thank you. The best. Bye. Bye. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.